Hi there. Okay, so this is Melanie with Windmill Bench Designs, and we are going to wax this piece. So I painted it earlier, and um, now it's time to wax it. So we're going to be using clear and dark wax. Well, I told you guys I would do this for you, and here we go. Okay, so I'm using Debbie's Design Diaries, um, her clear and her black, and I need a screwdriver. Um, heck happened. Okay, sorry. My lids are on too tight. I actually put my lids on. Hi, friend. Hi. How are you guys? Thanks for coming. Okay, so this um, is a custom piece. It's painted with Wise Owl Republic Red. A great red. I went back and sanded it lightly to just to give it um, a little bit of a smoother finish. It was a little bit chalky. And now it's not as chalky. So that's what we did. So, oh, man. I'm not doing very well. This is dark. I need clear. Hold on. Holy shizer. Not very organized. Okay, good thing you guys know me. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to be using the clear wax. And, um, hi Karen. And we're going to be using black. Um, so let me scooch on over here. We're going to start on this door here. Um, it's kind of a cool thing. You want to see if you can mess with that one? It's not. You could take it over there. Okay, so now you guys can see the star, right? All right. All of it. All of it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab our wax brush and dip into our clear wax. So this isn't a clay based paint, so it's not quite as dramatic like the freak out factor. I have this as it is when you use a DIY um, paint underneath it. But we're just going to go ahead. I'm gonna wax it up so I'm gonna get my workout on here. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Go live. So let's get some pretty good coverage with the clear on there first. That way when we put our black wax on there, we um we won't grab quite as hard and we have a little bit more wiggle room for whether if we don't like it so much we can change it um, you can just use it straight I'm just I'm afraid a lot of people do that but I just I don't know I'm not quite ready for that so I bought an iPad off of Group it's gone again. So I bought an iPad off a of Groupon. It was like a used one, and I thought, oh, that'd be good because, you know, phone's small and everything, but it's tripping out. So I'm trying to use it like right here so that I could record for YouTube too. And yeah, it's not working. I don't think it can handle it or something. Maybe because it's old. Maybe that's because I paid 100 bucks for it. Huh? Maybe because it's older? Yeah, maybe. <coughs> Wow, I just took it off the tripod. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, now that we've got this on here, we're getting to these little nitty gritties a little bit better. And up here. So, what you guys up to? Ready, happy? Is everybody happy? Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow is Friday, so that's awesome. No, I'm happy about it. Isn't that the coolest piece? I know. Um, this is custom for one of my wonderful customers. She's a regular and I adore her. And um, it was in kind of rough shape. We had to do a lot of work to it to make it good, but it is good now. And um, so, you know, I don't know 
you all know that about us. We do do a lot of custom work, so if you have a piece that um, it needs a little love, for you to love it again, you know, hit us up, and we'll make it make it good for you. So I know everybody kind of does this differently, waxing. Some people don't rub it off till the next day. So I rub mine back kind of right away, and I tend to work in sections. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, keep working on this one. So now that we've got the clear on, I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy and thanks, babe, and just go ahead and dip into my black. And then I have a lint-free towel right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, work it into these recessed areas around this detailing right here. And just kind of really work it in there good. I'm gonna go down my handle a little bit and get in those little groovy dudes. And then, because I just feel better about everything if I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe it back off those high spots because, because it freaks me out to leave it. So, is that enough? Yeah, so that brings out quite a bit of that detail, right? Hi, how's it going? Thanks guys for coming again. Um, we are using Debbie's Design Diaries um, clear and black wax over YZL paint. Um, and everything is working out good. So let's see. We do a little bit of shading over here. Just kind of come down this panel. And then let's go ahead and wipe that back. I just like a little bit, kind of trip out if I get too much, so I'll that up. So you can see it's already, so this is different than the clay-based paint, so um, being that it doesn't have all that clay in it, it um, obviously it absorbs it differently. It still gives it just a really pretty look, nice and subtle. Hi, Catherine. How's it going? And that is that. So now we're just gonna go ahead and move on, making this nice and subtle and um, enjoy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my clear again. Just dipping in there. And I'll go ahead and go up here. So wax is a very durable finish. This is definitely a piece that, you know, we're not gonna be eating off it or anything like that. I'm not worried about it. It doesn't need a hard sealer. Wax is plenty durable. And will for last for years to come. You know, there's, I don't know about every wax, but I do know that this wax is not going to need to be re-waxed in a year or whatever. It's, it'll be fine. So, well, there's always something to think about. Get that on there like that. Now we're gonna dip into our black and just get it real subtle into the deep places on our pull. And let's go ahead and just rub that back off. Turn our little tally. We'll just buff that right up, right away. It already is ready to buff. You can see it already just shines right up. Turn on like that. Let's see. No, this is for one of my customers, Catherine. Um, this is hers, so I'll bring it back to the store this weekend and. She'll come pick it up. I very rarely do anything for myself. You look at my house, it's, uh, it's 
kind of sad, <laughs> kind of pathetic. Um, my dining room is no longer a dining room. I don't have a dining room table or anything like that. I sold all that and I use my dining room as additional storage when my garage is full. And um, you know, my living room is my living room, but I basically sold pretty much everything that was on the walls. <laughs> so it's all dead. So, okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more dark in here. So if I wanted this dark to grab a lot more, I would definitely just not put the clear underneath it. But I don't want it to grab too, too much. I just want it to be subtle. And um, I can always go back and add more if I want to. And I, I just might, um, depending on what it looks like when it's done. But I don't know, I kind of freak out, you know? Because for one, it's not mine. <laughs> and for two, I just want, you know, I don't know. Be a little pretty. And I may just end up pulling out the white wax also later on. Um, I don't know, we'll see. But once we get to this point, I'm always excited to get it done so I can see what it looks like enjoy you know that finished product it feels good okay let me dip back in there a little bit and then we'll wipe that back off and let's pop that out all right now you definitely do not need to buff your clear wax right away. You can, you can leave that. Oh my, it looks so pretty. Thank you guys. Thanks Karen. Can you see it down here? Okay. All right, so get in here. So what do you guys think? Are you are you fans? Are you are you waxing fans? Is anybody is anybody out there that you haven't waxed before that you have any questions for me that you would like answered? Uh, isn't that cool, Agnes? The base color is Re um, Republic Red by Wise Owl. That is the base, and it's in a pretty red. I just love it. Yeah, this wax is probably, it's awesome, right? Can't not like DIY wax. All right. And I love that it works so well on, on all paints. It's not, not just DIY, you know? It works, it's just really good wax. It, it really is. So that is that. So we're moving right along. Yeah, Jill, there's, there's not all waxes are created equal. So if you ever want to try this wax, you'll never go back. I, I promise you that. Have you seen the new Wise All Colors? Yeah, I have. Um, they're really pretty for sure. Let's see. I haven't bought any of them yet, though. Let's see that. Okay, so here we go on this last door. We'll go ahead and just dip into this part first. Really scrub it into those deep areas. Get it all in there. This part over here. And I'm gonna switch back to my bigger one now. I can cover more area. Let's see. Oh, you'll like them, Rena. Where to buy Wisel products? Um, you can buy them from me if you want to. You just message my page. My website's still 
still not working. So um, if you message the page, I can show you what colors they have and, and all that kind of stuff. And then I can, um, with your order and your email address, I can send you an invoice and ship them straight on to you. So that is always an option if you want to. And if you're gonna order some YSL products, you gotta get yourself some salve. Yes, DIY wax, Stephanie. Um, you know, they say that wax does. I have never had to re-wax anything with DIY wax. Um, and I've talked to the girls, the other retailers and stuff, and they say that they've had pieces that they they waxed five, six years ago, and they still don't need to re-waxing. So, um, I think as a rule, they say that you do have to re-wax at some point, but I, I honestly, I think we're talking pretty long time before that's a, a necessary thing. So, you know, that's just, that's all I know. <laughs> yeah, it goes on like butter. It certainly does. It is. It is absolutely the most easy wax to work with. A lot of waxes stay super sticky for days even, um, and you have to be really careful that you don't apply too much. And as you can see, I'm already ready to rub this. I mean, and I wouldn't have to do this to it right now. I could definitely wait, but I mean, I'm, it, my towel, like it's not tacky. It's already good. So I, I am using YSL paint and DIY wax. Um, the top, I actually stained it. Yes, so it's it's a natural color now. I used some um, gentle finishes gel stain up there. And um, it's gonna need one more coat and then I'll go ahead and seal that up. But... All right, girls, so that is that. And that is how easy it is to use these products um, if you're interested in buying DIY wax if you hit me up you can message the page and again you know just with your email I can um, I can invoice you and get it sent out to you until my um, no it's it's a wax brush it's a wax brush I sell these two there you go so I sell um, two different sizes of these we've got a small and a large but yeah, these are wax, wax brushes. Um, I also use them for the sal. They're great. So, um, what is that comment? I missed it. Totally recommended using that. Yeah, DIY ones. You're right. DIY is the one to go for. Okay, guys. So that is it. Um, I'm going to just let this soak in. I'll buff it out tomorrow and it'll be even sheenier. <laughs> it'll be sheenier than it is today. Aw, that's awesome, Sherry. I'm glad you like it. Hi, Jewel. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, appreciate it, always. And I will see you guys soon. Okay, thanks. Bye. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? Bye, Agnes.